Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ice Pick Windows, and today I'm going to show you how to update your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and your iPad 1 or 2 to iOS 5. iOS 5 comes out next Wednesday, October 12th. Today, it is Sunday, October 9th, and I actually did this on my iPhone Friday, October 7th. Now, this wasn't the first day it was out. It actually came out a little bit earlier, but I found out Friday. So, if you're watching this now, you are going to have the Gold Master of iOS 5. Now, what a Gold Master pretty much is, is what Apple is going to release to the public next Wednesday. So, you see right here it says the newest version is 4.3.5, but next Wednesday it'll say that the newest version is iOS 5. And if you look at my, oh, no, see right here, you can see on my phone, it is running 5.0. But back here, it's running 4.3.3. And the reason that is because I had it jailbroken, and I have decided that I never really used the jailbreak, and I'm just going to update to iOS 5 because, now keep in mind that I am doing this on an iPad, but that does not mean that you cannot go to your iPhone and download the iOS 5 and do the same thing because the only thing that's different is what you're actually downloading from the website. So this does work for an iPhone and an iPod Touch. So all you're going to need to download from the website is iOS 5 and iTunes 10.5 Beta. Now, there is a couple betas on there, but what I have installed is iTunes Beta 6, or iTunes 10.5 Beta 6, because newest, or the old iTunes cannot recognize the iOS 5 IPSWs and know what to do with them. Now, you can update to them, but it doesn't do it correctly, and you won't have some of the features like Wi-Fi Sync. So once you have iOS 5 and iTunes 10.5 installed, you need to connect your iDevice and go down and shift click restore. Now this is on Windows, so remember that. Don't click shift clip shift click update because that gives you a different it'll give you an error code. And I fi I found that out when I f when I clicked the update it didn't work and then right after that when I did click restore it worked fine. So you shift click restore and then select your IPSW. So it says right here iPad 1 5.0 restored at IPSW. And then it'll, iPhone iTunes will erase and restore your iPad to iOS 5. So make sure that you have everything backed up and sunk with your computer. So click restore. And then right here you can see it says extracting software. Now it does this for any restore, even if you're just restoring from 4.3.5 back to 4.3.5. So here it's verifying the iPad and preparing the iPad for restore. Back that, that was fast forwarded so it won't go that fast. But so now you'll get a bunch of sounds of your iPad or iPhone disconnecting from your computer and reconnecting to your computer. So right now it's just preparing it. And this will be fast forwarded too, so you're not going to have to sit through 10 minutes of watching that thing load. But right now, basically, my iPad just has a black screen, and it is displaying different things. It's not like a jailbreak, so it's not displaying, like, any code or anything. It's just through iTunes, so it's all safe, and so far there's been nothing to worry about. So right there, it stopped. Oh, this is fast forward to me. The iPad restore, making sure that it is your iPad, and just going through some stuff. The loading bar is almost done on the iPad, and then I think it goes through a second one. See, so right now it got done with the first one. And if there is a second one, then 
I was right. And I like being right. And be in there. It's gonna be cut out. La 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 la. Now it is restoring the iPad firmware. As if you can't read that. Finally, your iPad has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. Please leave your iPad connected and then it will appear in the iTunes window.